There you go, Marty. Ah, good man, Kim. We caught up with Eurovision presenter Marty Whelan to see how he's feeling about this year's song contest. Tell me, how excited are you about the Eurovision this year? You have to be excited about the Eurovision because in my innocence I keep thinking we're going to win it. Um, the thing about Eurovision is that, that having, having won it seven times, you're, you're always confident, you always feel good about it. But the scary thing now is that we have the semi-final business, which is a real pain in the neck. I think we'll actually will get out of it though, because Molly's brilliant. And I made a parole. She's a really good singer, it's a great song. Uh, she will deliver it, I think, incredibly strongly, because she has a great confidence, even though she's quite a shy person, but she has great confidence. And it's a really good song. You know, we've sent a lot of music over the years, and some good, some not so good, or whatever, whatever. This is really strong. So we have a good chance. Certainly of getting out of the semi-final, I think we will. And who will be our biggest competition this year? Belarus is a very strong song, particularly. Um, the Swedes will always be probably top five, so you know that in advance, because they're a very strong country. And of course, Australia's at this time. The fact that they want to be a part of it is a great, I suppose, plus for the event because they take it and they love it and they're mad about the Eurovision in Australia and they show it and they, they do programmes around it and everything and they'd love to be a part of it. Now they are, strangely. So somebody was obviously on medication, they said of course you can join. It's the Eurovision Song Contest. What are we talking about? This is the boy himself. A second bite of the cherry. I have no doubt what my favourite is. It's Johnny Logan and Hold Me Now because that was the year I commentated. Uh, for the first time and that was in 1987 that was my first time and we won and uh, I have successfully assured the listeners that we haven't won since I've taken part in the, all the last number of years so I, 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 that memory is very strong and it'll never go and it was so exciting we were, in, we were in, in, in Belgium and Brussels is not an exciting town but it was the most exciting event probably ever hit the place and Johnny Logan was high as a kite the whole thing was just oh it was wonderful so for me there's only one song that really hits it. The thing about the Eurovision is that you have to say to yourself, you focus on what it is and you do the best you can by it. But if we're not in it, if we're not in the grand final, it becomes a very different night. It becomes slightly mad because we're not in it. So therefore we don't have to be as reverential, if you will, because when you're a contestant, there's a certain reverence that comes with it. But when you're not a contestant, it's kind of Open the Baileys earlier, let's go for this, and let's see what happens. The, the exuberance of the event is what I try to convey, and that's why you, you, you can't really script an awful lot of it. You script some of it because it's information, but after that it's what I see when I look in there on a stage, what the viewer sees watching the same thing, and it's trying to convey a sense of that. The, the event is very important to us, so we, you go out and you give it your best shot and that's all you can do. So you have to have a lot of energy and you have to mind yourself. You have to mind your voice, you have to mind how you are, because they'll be bringing it to Maltese parties and everything, you should be worn out. 